Hello my friends, welcome back once again. We will continue our journey into the world of Python doing this extremely interesting activity called the pixel art for which we are going to once again use turtle graphics. Now what we mean by pixel art is this drawing that we'll create using logic. So the whole idea is that we will create a small little pixel, in this case a square, and then we'll use logic for example to place it, let's say in a grid of, uh, you know, uh, two say 20 squares by 20 squares. Uh, with certain patterns you're drawn here. For example, here I have all the squares is green and I've used a red color in between on the main diagonal. In here I've done something different, so red, blue and green. Uh, and over here, in fact, is a Mario character or in other words, an absolutely arbitrary art. Now, this is an extremely interesting activity, obviously, because it appeals to the creative as well as the mathematical side of our brains. Uh, so while this activity is extremely interesting, it also takes a lot of work. So we are going to get into this very slowly, very deliberately and in a step-by-step -step manner. So I really urge you to also follow this method uh, of being step-by-step. -step. We are going to go basically from the level zero, we're going to create code to draw, let's say one line, then one square, then one row of squares. And then we are going to see how we can use some rules to create, let's say, uh, different colors. Then we are going to see how we create a grid. And then finally, we get on to how do we create, say, an arbitrary art. Uh, so lots of steps in this. I request you to follow this in a step-by-step -step manner because you're really going to enjoy this. You're really going to learn a lot of things about Python. And I think it's going to be a great exercise uh, doing all of this. Let me just highlight to you the main learning objectives that I have in mind from this activity right so first thing first we are going to use we are going to learn how to define and use functions in python now for the uh, you know benefit of everybody functions are equivalent of my blocks in scratch in scratch we have my blocks uh, in python we have functions basically code blocks which do things that we want to do again and again, but they do not have a ready-made block available to us right or say a ready-made function available to us so we create my own blocks or functions uh, we are then going to learn about what is called the range function, extremely important in Python, extremely useful. We are going to see the uses of this later on as we deal more with strings and lists. Uh, and we are going to learn about an extremely important loop called the for loop. Right Now the for loop, in fact, forms the backbone of many a programming exercises. So we are going to learn, look at for loop very closely um, and see how it works. Right. We are also going to revise the if elif else conditions because that's how we can create uh, those different colors inside the squares. We will use the row and column indices from within the for loop to create patterns. Right Now, this is also interesting because it requires a little bit of thinking. It gets us thinking about how exactly a for loop is working and what is going on with the counter variable that comes along with the for loop. And finally, for arbitrary patterns, for example, the Mario, we will use lists. Now, lists may be a little bit new to some of you. Uh, however, if you're coming from the background in Scratch and have done lists, the ideas are very similar. So in short, there's a lot of things that will happen. I urge you to go in a systematic step-by-step -step manner uh, like I'm going to do in this set of videos. right? So I hope you like this and I hope you'll find this enjoyable. I'll be very happy to hear your feedback on this video or anything else that we have been doing. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.